guys, uh, welcome to the channel back. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. And also, uh, if you have any questions and comments, you can uh, write them down to me. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna show you again my vacuum tube Tesla coil. Uh, I found an error in my vacuum tube Tesla coil. This is my vacuum tube Tesla, Tesla coil with a little modification. Uh, but first let me talk uh, uh, about an error that I made on this tube. Here I have two vacuum tubes and I, I put uh, the grid on the wrong pin. So first pin is uh, behind, second pin is here in front, third pin is uh, here to the right, fourth pin is in the back and this is orientation. So second pin is not connected and third pin is a grid. I connected to a second pin the grid so that's why my Tesla coil didn't work. Okay and you can see now second pin is second pin is three is three uh, and third pin is connected. And this is just a cooling fan for vacuum tube. Okay now I'm gonna try this tube I'm gonna I'm gonna start start it again and also a little modification I've done to this tube because I'm transferring it into another machine as you can see down there we have an engine here we have connection to the engine and this tube can rotate but uh, that's for another video I'm still waiting for some parts uh, okay I try connecting uh, the third pin to, uh, to the grid which is uh, which should be a grid but second pin I disconnected but uh, when I fired this uh, vacuum tube test coil didn't work I raised the voltage up to 120 volts so I disconnected the grid and connected to not connected which is connected to the uh, to the upper part of, of primary vacuum tube Tesla coil I'm still not sure why it doesn't work properly uh, but uh, in this setup it resonates at 36 kilohertz and it's pulsating that energy is enough for for experiments I'm gonna I'm gonna make okay that's it for this video thank you for watching and peace